What I want to talk about now is what the Thevenin equivalent is. What I want to do, if you know what the Thevenin equivalent is, you can, ha you can analyze any transformer circuit at, at all. And just to be clear about what we're talking about with the Thevenin equivalent, Here's your circuit, and I want to know what the Thevenin equivalent is of this area to the right. So in other words, from the perspective of the, of the voltage source, I want to know what it sees. So and we've already... And we've already said we can't, the transformer doesn't add power and it doesn't subtract power. So it doesn't look like, it's Thevenin equivalent, doesn't look like it has any source. It just looks like it has some sort of impedance. Everything in that red box can be replaced by some impedance. And my question is, does it look like a Z? Does it look like the same Z? Does it get changed at all? What's going on? Um, so, and you shouldn't be able to answer that. That's my job. But if you can see it, I will be very, very impressed. So I'm, I'm thinking like, like a regular Thevenin equivalent, you have V source over I source and, and that with regards to yeah. that impedance right there. And so right. if your V source is going to be NV1 right there, considering if that voltage source is V1. So that you're saying this is going to be N V one. Right. And that's and then, exactly correct. Then the current going through that, going through that Z right there, that impedance is going to be one over N. I'm just going to, I'm going to put a little tiny, you're hitting this exactly right. I'm going to put a tiny little number one, just to show that's the first step that you did. And then mm. your second step is you're finding out this current. Right, and so my guess is that it's like it's number two, n squared v one over i one. Oh, if you, you are really good. Just follow me through. What is you're, you're right? What what is this current? This is going to be one over n times i one. Well, the current's going to be the voltage divided by the impedance, which is n oh, yeah. v one over z, and that means that you now know number three, what that current is, that current so is, now, go on. So now that current is going to be N times N V1 over Z. And then if you want to do I or V source over I source, you'll have N V1 Sure. over NV1 over N times NV1 over Z. That is, so then that's your, beautiful. Your N's cancel, you'll have ZV1 over NV1. I'm writing this down so that D other students N. can follow you. And so I'm going to just explicitly say a couple of steps that you're doing in your head. You're saying that you want to know what this equivalent Z Q is, and that by what you already know about how Thevenin's work is going to be the voltage divided by the current. And we know we're given the voltage. And from no step number three, we're saying that's equal to the current is equal to N times N V one over Z. Are you, so are you saying V one and V are different? Or is your I, Oh, I'm sorry. I, um, let me get rid of that one. So then algebraically, I think it'll just end up with like zero, right? And so that just gives you, and so the V's cancel and you get one over N squared over Z, which is Z over N squared. And so therefore this equals your original impedance over here over N squared. 
And this, I don't know how to highlight it anymore. This is the Thevenin equivalent. This is what we need to find out. And, and you, you analyze it perfectly. Um, so putting in a, a transformer, it does not add power. It does not subtract power, but it changes what the load impedance looks like. And if we've got more coils on the secondary, it makes our output impedance look less. So more coils on the secondary will mean that that denominator is going to be greater so your output impedance is, is less, right? Okay, I see what you're saying. Correct, that's correct. And you know, I'm gonna summarize what you worked out like this. You're given that circuit and the Thevenin equivalent that you wanna replace it with if this is terminal A and terminal B is that. That's the takeaway about ideal transformers. That's really all. This result down here, plus those rules for the ideal transformer that I boxed to the left, that's everything for this lesson. That's the entire mathematical explanation of what's going on.